I mean, uh, the the grind of camp. You guys have been into it for a week. You're, mm -hmm. you're obviously got some ice. So, mm -hmm. wh where are you guys in camp? Is it a grind now, or uh, now that you got full pads on, what's going on? Uh, I feel like um, to this point, I feel like we're doing good as a team, offense and defense. Um, as the offensive side, I feel like we're clicking uh, way far uh, ahead as we were last year. So I feel like everything is going well and what we expect and all the work that we put in is showing. So I feel good where we at. What is the specific things that you guys need to improve on offensively? Um, I'll say just scoring more touchdowns. Um, uh, this offseason, the receivers and the QBs, we did a lot of work together um, outside of practice, uh, just getting all the timing down. And I feel like uh, we're connecting as we uh, have been in camp. Uh, people are making plays, people are stepping up, and it's going good so far. What was your offseason like this year? Obviously different than the one last year. Mm -hmm. uh, so this offseason, um, I just wanted to get better all the way around, uh, more bigger, so I uh, put on some more muscle. Uh, and then just knowing every every uh know just studying the playbook way harder. Uh, you know, it's year three, so we're putting in more stuff. Everybody is more familiar with everything. So I just want to be a leader all the way around. You had any weight? Uh yes, I added like five pounds. Last year I was one eighty, now I'm weighing at one eighty five. Gotcha. So. Getting ready was that robo passing machine. You said, well, I couldn't hear it. Uh, how, how important to getting ready during the offseason was that ro ro robo passing machine? Oh, yeah, the new uh, passing machine um, that we got is very helpful because it helps tracking over the shoulder. So a lot of balls that we get, uh, you know, they're over the shoulder. So it gives us an idea of tracking it, game speed. So we're getting game, game like reps at the practice, which is helping a lot of the, uh, the older guys and the younger guys because it's new. So, I feel like it's helping us. Is Dave going to come when they have that back at quarterback? Yes, sir. <laughs> you switched numbers. Did you, did you want to beat TJ up for it in years past? Why would you switch to, to one? Uh, I just switched to one. I mean, there's no meaning around it. Uh, I just felt uh, that I just wanted a new start, uh, you know, a, a year three. So, I feel like it's going to be a big year for us. So, I just felt like a uh, number change, you know, would be unique. Uh, no, I was wearing them before high school. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Can't get that from Letty. <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you think uh, Jared's throwing the ball this year? And is is he improved from last year, in your opinion? Oh, I feel like he improved way better than last year. Um, you know, just the timing, like uh, like I said earlier. Um, you know, the receivers and the quarterbacks. You know, we're on the same page now. So I mean, it's easier for him to throw the ball now to us. Looks like ball placement from the practices I've watched is is really on spot this year. Right, yeah, we put a lot of time into it. Um, like after the summer workouts, we'll just throw, you know, we'll get a lot of work in throwing. So, I mean, it's rhythm now. So, you know, the work is showing. You feel like the timing is there between you guys? Yeah, I feel like the timing is uh, perfect. Uh, me and him, I know we spend a lot of time just getting extra work, getting our timing in, you know. So, I feel like it's paying off. Take you a while to get used to Morgantown. I mean, you know, it's a lot um, different than from where you're from. Yeah, where I'm from, it's kind of like uh, more city-like. Uh, but I love it here. You know, you just get to focus on football, and you know, the people that you come in contact with are good people. So, I like that also. Hey, Woodson, you're the, the kickoff return expert, right? Yes, sir. Lenny's doing a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. Kind of new to him. Um, you talked about it. What do you what do you see from him so far doing that? Because it's um, it's kind of funny to see him out there getting extra touches. Right, yeah. Um, you know, I, I, uh, we talk about it all the time. You know, it's not bad to uh, just get out your comfort zone, so just trying new things. So when you get to the next level, you know, if you have to play it, you'll be ready. So I feel like our coaches are doing a good job of putting us in position to do different things. What do you think about him? Uh, Letty, uh, I feel like, you know, he's very special. Um, he can catch the ball at the backfield, uh, run through tackles, make people miss. So I feel like he's very unique. Winston, what do you think really stands out about the, uh, this group of uh, wideouts going into uh, going into the season? Uh, what stands out about us is uh, we're very young still. You know, everybody like 
we're third year, but everybody is young. So, um, you know, we have a lot of uh, room to improve, and we just learn every day. And I feel like we made a big leap since last year, you know, catching balls and just the little things that we're focusing on. So I feel like everybody is doing good. You talked a little bit earlier with, with the number change about things, you know, about there being a new start. Um, you know, I, I, I guess with that new start, what kind of gives you hope going into next season? Um, and I guess for you first, like, why did you want a, uh, want a new start? Uh, me personally, you know, uh, for me, uh, I mean, for all of us, it's a big year. So, um, you know, the, the new start, I just wanted uh, that number because uh, I want this year to be something we can remember. You know, we've been working hard for these last two years, so I feel like uh, year three, everything is going to click for us, and it's going to come at the perfect time. Getting back to the return game, Neil has mentioned that he wants more out of that. Right. Um, what do you have to do to, uh, to, to maybe pop one or, or get that long return? Right. Uh, so we work a lot. We spend a lot of uh, time on special teams. Um, you know, we have a lot of meetings. So it's just the little things, like when you catch the return, whatever side you're going on. So like, say if we run like double boundary, you know, you got to uh, push a little to the hash to get the defenders to come down so you get the lane can open up. So it's just the little things. You know, the blocking is always good. It's just we got to get better as returners. It's just seeing, seeing and feeling it. So it's a matter of pressing the block and hitting it right away? Right, yeah. Once you press the block, you bring the defenders to you, so it'll open up. Gotcha. Thanks. Yes, sir. <laughs> what role did that contusion happen on? And is the ice just kind of precautionary? Yeah, uh, you know, it's just camp. It's part of, you know, bangs and bruises, uh, nothing major. So I, th I, don't, I forgot what happened. You know, I'm just uh, being, I'm just, you know, getting my recovery. That's all. Uh, Talked about returns, punt return and kickoff return entirely different. Are they not even the same animal, or, or are there things that you can use, you know, in both? Right. Um, so, um, you know, I'm doing punt return a little bit this year. So, me just being back there is way different than when I thought. Um, you know, the punt return, the ball is way, way higher and stuff like that. So, you, it's a harder catch because the punt, it could look like it going right, but come back left. You know, uh, the kick return, you know, it's going to come how it comes. So I feel like it's way different. Okay, anything else for Winston? All right, thank you very much. Thank you.